Jesus taught us to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. To pray for God's kingdom to come in our midst, to pray for God's reign to be realized in our midst, is to pray for God's will to be done, to pray that God's dream might be realized in our lives and in our time. In my home parish where I grew up in Buffalo, New York, there was a woman who lived in a house that caught fire in the 1940s. She was severely damaged, she was wounded, um, and she spent a long time in hospitals recovering. The net result of her time in the hospital and of what happened to her because of the fire was that both of her legs had to be amputated. Her priest went and visited with her and spent time with her and helped her talk about it to work her way through all of the struggle that that would entail. She was so upset that at one point she was just ready to give up. And in her conversation with her priest, she finally said, if God would just help me have my legs again in some way, I give him my promise that I will serve him the rest of my life. Well, through the medical technologies that were available at that time, she was able to get two prosthetic devices, two prosthetic legs that helped her walk. And all the time when I grew up and many other children in that church, we knew her as Aunt Ruth and she had crutches and those two prosthetic legs. And she used to make coffee every Sunday between the services. She also used to make robes and vestments for the little ones who would serve on the altar for whom the vestment companies didn't make vestments. I was one of those kids. In fact, the truth is, she made vestments for young children who would serve on the altar as acolytes. And today there are six or seven of those young children who are actually priests of the church, serving the church today. On the day I was ordained deacon, she was there. And she said to me, God answered my prayer because wherever you go, I go. Your legs are my legs, and God has answered my prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Therein is a prayer that God's will and God's dream might be realized in our time and in our lives. And I saw it happen with Aunt Ruth. God love you, God bless you, and may God hold us all in those almighty hands of love.